Now, the last is yet to be heard on the recent announcement by the Minister of Health, Dr. Osagi Ehanire, that the federal government has released 10 billion naira to support domestic COVID-19 vaccine production. While some see these as a welcome development, some have expressed skepticism, uh, warning that they will not take it when produced in Nigeria. Now, Destiny Momo examines this process of validation and the prospect of curbing more damage brought about by the COVID-19 virus. Take a look. Different countries are not taking chances as they massively inoculate their citizens with COVID-19 vaccines. Interestingly, Nigeria is not taking a back seat as it is already making effort by releasing a large sum of 10 billion naira to work with foreign pharmaceutical firm. Plus TV Africa decides to feel the polls of Nigerians on the streets on their readiness to take the vaccine against the backdrop of doubt on the authenticity of homegrown products. We Africans were like always skeptical about things we're not sure of. You know, so this one I'm not sure of it. I don't know. And you know, we have rumors around about the vaccines and everything. So I don't let's just see how it goes. But me, I know that COVID is here to stay. It will just be like malaria. We'll just be treating it, it'll just be a regular thing here. I haven't really been enlightened about it, so I don't know the consequences of taking it and I wouldn't want to dare take something that would instead endanger my life, so I don't know. If you have the vaccine, it's a better option than um, dying. So definitely, if the vaccine comes to Nigeria, I'm willing to take it. Vaccines work to prepare the body's natural defenses for the immune system to recognize and fight off the viruses and bacteria. Reacting to the planned domestic production of COVID-19 vaccine, a renowned virologist Professor Uyewali Tomori comments the government's efforts, which he describes as historic. For the first time in my life, I'm getting positive about my country. Uh, in the last few days, we've had reports from our government uh, saying they are providing funding for local production of vaccines. I had the great opportunity of talking with the Nigerian Governors Forum where again the governors committed to the need for us to produce vaccines locally. And it requires all of us, all stakeholders, to get involved in this and ensure that for once we do what we, have, what we should have done a long time ago. He also spoke on the sarcasm and rejection of government efforts by many Nigerians. There's a joint venture between the federal government and uh, May and Baker which has set up a Valve Vaccines Nigeria Limited company. And that company is working uh, together with the government to ensure that we, we, we achieve that objective of local production of vaccines in this country. We have one mantra, that we will never do anything to harm the people of our country. That message will be passed around from beginning, from the day we start action on building the construction, that everything will be done to ensure that what is produced in this place is for the good of our country. With 10,300 confirmed cases having been reported from just 50,750 samples tested in one week, translating into a 20% positive rate, the option of vaccine experts advise should not be downplayed. Destiny Momo for PLUS TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.